Today is Tuesday, January 4th, and I am going to do part three of my January magazine art journaling. Now, this will be the cover. This is an unlisted stream. I will stream it, and then I'll come back and review it. If everything's okay, I will make it public. So if you think it's live and you can come in and chat, nope, that won't be the case. But if you want to chat, leave a comment in the description box below. And if you haven't subscribed, considering doing a thumbs up and subscribing. And I, speaking of subscribing, I want to thank all my new subscribers. I'm sure it was because of the streamathon that I got all those new sub subbies. Uh, and I'm very grateful for it. So thank you very much. All right, so what are you doing, Mary? Well, this is going to be the cover, and I, I think, ooh, I don't like this, and that was my plaid. We might make this the back cover. Let's see what's on the back. Oh, yeah, we'll make this the back cover. We'll make that the inside. We've got more. This was jelly printing that I was doing. We might make another one with these trucks. These are jelly prints that I did when we were doing a jelly printing session. And in part one of my magazine art series here in January, I cut out and categorized, well, I went through all of these streams. These are the recipes all of these uh, pages that I saved out of magazines. I had a whole stack of magazines from the library and I went through them and I saved out what interested me. And this is what interests me. So these are the recipes. We're not gonna do those right now. I think these are inspiration. We might do these. These are pictures. We could do the pictures, too. Let's do the pictures and save the inspiration. Let's put this one with the pictures. Uh, and then below are articles. And then I'm actually fussy cutting. This is an article. I'm actually fussy cutting. the. I have another stack called fussy cuts. And they're out by my recliner because I'm fussy cutting. But we're going to work with these. Now let me put these behind me. All right. Make sure everything is okay here. And all I'm going to do, this should not take me a whole long time. I need to straighten these up. Uh, there are pictures in, in any sort of... Well, I actually saved that for a cover. We'll save that for one of the other covers. And I think I've got a back cover here someplace, too. I'll find it. But I'm saving these because of the, the pictures. Um, so I got some small ones in there. I'm going to go through later, not today. And I found out that, like, this bear had a label up here, like this tulip does. And if you hit that with the heat gun, it'll melt the glue under it, and you can just pull that label off. You guys taught me that. One of you taught me that. And I saved this because of the longhorn deer. So these are kings of the mountain. And... I'm just straightening these up as I go. And I'm actually going to make what I call my own magazine. So if I want something, I will just pull it. This actually goes with an article about hats. I'm going to save that up with the articles. I noticed that when I was going through. And these are just various pictures, colored pictures that interested me. And they're different sizes, but that doesn't matter. I'm just kind of straightening them up here. Maybe the larger ones I'll put over here for now. And yeah, that's a larger one. Country Lighthouse. 
tiny cute little dog and I think I had another one of these it came out of the Mary Jane's farm and I actually painted this out in single tone painting I think that was that picture just looks so familiar to me I think I had two of those magazines dog days of summer I love the Mary Jane's magazine Mary Jane's farms I get a lot of pictures from that flowers I want to grow some these are actually a little taller um, I want to grow some cone flowers so what you do when you when you do something like that is get get what interests you let me snip this off a little here so it'll be the same height or the same and this one too can be snipped but I'll I'll do that later that one and yeah I think I'm gonna have to trim this down a little too Let's trim off the spine and this looks like it's the Clay Center library so that doesn't hurt there are addresses online a whale undersea I was saying how this reminds me so much of Dee Dee how she would take something like this for color and convert this into her own world she says create your world I got those out of the National Geographic these are National Geographic pictures actually this one I'm gonna have to either cut it down which I think I'll do or turn it upside down and I think I'd rather trim it off a little here And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do what's called the uh, simple binding. Look at this, insect. Now, what do I want to do? I think I'll put one in and then come back later and put them together. So let's save that one out. Uh, this one I think can go by itself. Some of these bugs... I think is a, a, a um, prompt in Janet Young's scavenger hunt. I got to figure out where the rest of that bug is right here. So I'll put this one in and then I'll come la back later and put this one down. Is he right side up? No. Excuse me. I'll put, how does he go? I guess he goes like this. So I need to put this one in and come back in and put this one in later. And this one goes here and that will come back and I'll put that one in. Are we about done with the bugs? Here's the body of this one and I'll come back in and put the head in. So there are those. Whoops, did I get a... Let's snip this thing down a little. I could put that with the larger ones. We'll see if it fits with the larger ones. I think these all are larger here. Let me switch hands here. There's an African one. Let's see snip the spine off of it and it really doesn't matter how if some of this is rough cut because of the way we're doing this this is some giraffes some zebras some gorillas I have to jump up every now and then and make sure I'm going and uh, this is an awfully tall page, so you may not be seeing everything on here. These are all from the Wildlife magazine. This was Egypt. I can take some of this stuff out again, and I'll show you how I do that. Some of that I saved for my caboodles when I do Egypt. And I was talking about maybe doing an animal journal, but I haven't got that far yet. 
And this is a rodeo going on here. This is Reed Drummond's magazine. Rodeo stuff. Rodeo. And I think that's the back cover that I was looking for. And let's see. This is the bicycle. And these are just pictures of cupboards and stuff that I was saving. The House of Good Taste. Yeah. And that's a little bit smaller. We might put that in the small stuff. Pretty in Pink. Oh, I saved this for the Rise and Shine. Rise and Shine. The Buffalo. Here he is again. Some kids. Here they are swinging on the porch swing. This won't be too fat, as you, as you can see. On um, ice cream, uh, I think I saved it for the ice cream cones. I think that came out of the Martha Stewart magazine. So I went through these magazines, and I chose pictures that interested me. Here's some more. I'm down to the bugs here. Wait. Let's put these here. I'm down to the small ones. Okay. So let's see if I can't get these. Which are a mountain goat and birds and stuff. And flowers. And these are the bugs that need to go on the other bugs. <laughs> and this is just a... Actually, I was saving this for my... China caboodle. Let's put these here. Do we want a bug on the top? Let's see. See, he's going to go in like that. And we got, we got some more here we can put on top. Let's do the rural street. So there we go. I've kind of straightened it up enough. So pull that out. So Janet, mom was telling, well, I want to make the cover here first. So this at its widest point measures nine by 12. So we're going to make, we're going to cut these about instead of nine, this is probably 12 here. Well, it's 11 and a half. Um, we're going to cut them nine, nine and a half. And that was 12. This is, we'll cut them by, we'll leave this the length it is. And we'll cut this at nine and a half. And we're going to make this the back of it. So let's get my trimmer out. And we're gonna we're gonna cut those. Do them one at a time. And that's the back. Let's do the front. This actually has came out of a scrapbook. I have some more. Isn't that that? Uh, It'll make good a good cover for my my magazine. This will be my magazine. And we're gonna leave this the way it is. Oh how how about if I put it this way? How how wide is that? Is this 12? This is 11 and a half. No, it's gonna have to go this way. It's not going to quite fit in there. Let's see if I can squeeze it in. Maybe turn it uh, just a little. It'll have to fold just a little to go in there to cut it at, I said, what, nine and a half? Nine and a half. And we're going to, it's a shame to cut all that off. Let's. Let's do it both at both ends. Let's 
cut that. And this has a little bit of a fold there, but I think it'll come out. And we're going to do the same over here to a nine and a half. Fold that up just a teeny bit here. Nine and a half. There we go. There we go. So this will be the cover. We might come back and trim that down a little bit. Let's do this one. Yeah, this one doesn't matter as much. This one fits this way, but I guess it's this. Do I care? Yeah, I think I care. Let's fold this up a little. Actually, it would look better with this because it covers the whole thing. This has... Let's cut, let's cut a little of this off here. Mary thinks she knows what she's doing, but you never can tell. I get fooled sometimes, and let's fold it a little. This it needs to fold this way a little, and it needs to come at nine and a half. And that needs to be straight, Mary. Or as straight as you can make it. It's not straight. All right, let's see what I've done here. Let's see what I've done for the cover. This will be the back. Actually, I kind of like that versus this. This covers more, but I like that design better. And I can always paint the upper and lower part. So let's see how it fits. Let's get my magazines out. This is what I sorted out. Oh, look, I can cut more off. Oh, good. All right. Well, this has to be, I measured... 12. Oh, this is 14. So I can cut an inch off of each side here. Let's do that. Yay! So I can cut an inch off of here, which is about an inch. One inch off here. Yeah. And... We want it a little bit longer than 12, though. So this is 13. We want it 12 and a half. So, I'm going to have to pull this out. 12 and a half, maybe. 12 and one half would be right to there. Still pretty good. Just a little there. We'll put that at the bottom. And this... Let's cut this at an inch. And cut this at 12 and one half here. 12 and one half. Perfect. All right, now let's see what I have. This is my magazine of pictures and I want this on the back and this on this really covers everything doesn't it but I like this better so we're gonna have that now let's get these out again kind of straighten them up as best you can the smaller ones I didn't put in there I'll put them in a pocket or something if I need them in there or I might just put them with my fussy cuts so there we go like this now when I was talking about doing this, this will make good cluster fodder. <laughs> Let's get them out of the way off my desk. These are the things that start to annoy me, but I just can't throw them away. 
<laughs> when I was talking about doing this, Janet said put it between two rulers, and I messed this up. I gotta keep it nice and straight. Nice and straight. As straight as you can. It doesn't matter if it's a little off because the shorter pages are going to be a little off. But let's put it there and in here. And let me grab a couple of clips here. Let's grab this one and live dangerously. Well, we can take this one. It's not as dangerous. I need to get me some more big bulldog clips. Okay. So Janet said to put them between two rulers. And I just have my metal rulers. So I'm going to use my metal rulers. Like this. I, I guess if I get them gluey, I can... I can... Uh, clean them off. I don't want to use that one. It's too big. Let's put the rulers down further for now. I might have to move it up further. No, I think I need to move them up. I think she meant to have them up. I think she meant to use wooden rulers, but I have a feeling I'm going to get glue on them. And if I have that feeling, why don't I put wax paper on them? I don't know. Mary's not thinking. Let's just cut some wax paper and wrap my ruler. Put it like that. Maybe put some painter's tape on it. I'm just doing this for fun. And this is called, when you do a, a simple binding, all you do is glue the edges. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I get there. I'm just going to wrap wax paper around my ruler. So if the glue leaks out, it will leak on my wax paper here hopefully should have had probably a longer piece yeah hold on mary's not happy let's get a longer piece we're gonna protect my ruler we're gonna protect my ruler I'll have to straighten out my pages again. <laughs> that should protect it, huh? And let's just wrap tape around it, if I can find the beginning of the tape now. And I have to set it down. Where'd the beginning go? Right here. Has to be there. That really settles in on me. I know you're supposed to fold it under. I didn't do it. Let's just wrap it up around here. protect my rulers because I have a feeling the glue might drip down because I am going to use wet glue. Actually, I'm going to use Aileen's Tacky Glue. All right, let's cover this other one. Just as protection.
protect my rulers. They're dirty anyway, but I this will just keep them from getting stuck to the paper. And I might get paper stuck to the other paper, but it's wax paper, so it shouldn't be that much of a disaster. I should be able to get it off. Uh, let's just wrap, wrap it around, and one more time here. Alrighty, trim the edges off here so they aren't in my way. And throw them away. Put my. All right. So now we're going to do this trick again. Make sure everything is halfway decent in here. Maybe I'll take these out and shuffle them up again here. Straighten them out if I can. Put it on this piece, take the cover, put on there. Let's put this right here. Now, I've never used two rulers, but Janet said use two rulers and clamp it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's just clamp it here for now. And... Yeah. Let's take this out again. It's moving on me. I want to get my bobby pins out. Let's get my bobby pins. Mary loves her bobby pins. Let's get a couple bobby pins. help hold it. You want to get them as straight as you can. I got them a little off here. It shouldn't be that much of a struggle, should it? Let's put a bobby pin here, just to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't shuffle around. And let's put a bobby pin here. Come on, bobby pin. Mary loves her bobby pins. I'll tell you, I, I like them better than I like paper clips. And I see everybody using paper clips, and I'm going, no, I don't want paper clips. I want bobby pins. Let's move it up a little. Yeah, up a little more. No, 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 she says. And I could even get a couple more to help me hold it before I clamp it. Let's clamp it down at the bottom here. Right there. And right here. I think I'm happy with that. And then we're going to put my rulers on over here to hold it tight. And we're going to clamp these. But I think my clamps are going to get way in way of the glue. I guess I'll glue it and then clamp it. But let's clamp it and glue from the middle out and then I'll unclamp it and maybe move that down a little move that bobby pin in a little more move this clamp down a little and down a little on the bottom we got it crooked here 
I think that's going to be good, but I don't want my ruler so close up to my... I want it close, but I don't want it so close that it's getting in my way. Okay, let's clamp it here. And actually, we could clamp it in the center first and clamp it over here on this side. And I honestly feel like I could use another bobby pin, but what we want to do is start putting glue down in here. And this needs to come up more. It's not even here. I think I like the bobby pins, Janet. I think I like my bobby pins. As clamps. Alright. Let's get out a couple more bobby pins. <laughs> they only cost $1.34 for 18 of them. So a dollar... 80 would be 10 cents a piece so they're under a dime a piece and that works for me let's put a couple more on here just to hold it that really does work for me all right and then maybe a couple i'll have to move it when i glue it but let's put a couple in here and those those will be bendy a little. But what we're gonna do, I'm not sure those will it's the right thing to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna glue right in here. We're just gonna put a stream of glue in there. And uh then maybe we'll put our ruler on. So let's do that. And I think I'm going to I I don't know. I haven't used these in a while, so I'm not sure. This one's probably all plugged up. It doesn't look like I have the cap on it. So let's use this one. I think this one's new. And I don't think I've ever used that. Let's cut it. Get my scissors out here. Let's snip the top of it here. And I think I got it pretty good. Let's take a piece of wax paper here and see if it's going to stream out. Oh, yeah. All right. This is good. This is Aileen's original tacky glue. And we're just going to take it. And, in fact, I should probably... I should probably put it on here. Uh... get this off okay all right here goes uh the bobby pins are going to float around a little you probably couldn't do this if you had a really wide thick magazine art journal but it's working on this so i'm just going to start filling this in with glue and then Let's remove my clamp. And I think this is where Janet says to put rulers on it. I think this is what she means, but I'm not sure that I can get that clamp on there. I might need a, a smaller ruler. Let's just hold that for a while. And it's okay if that glue kind of runs down into the inside. In fact, you kind of want it to. Because that's what's going to hold all these pages together. And I'm just putting a gob of glue on it. 
a gob of glue. And then I'm going to take my finger and run it this way and work it in, kind of. This is called a, a simple binding. Yeah, I got it on my finger running down. I was afraid that it'd run down a little. It ran down a little there on, on this. That's why I put wax paper on it. Okay. Yeah, let me grab a towel here. Yeah, let's see if I can't clamp this without touching the, the glue there. Let's move it way down there. And just work that in. And let's take this other one. It should probably have the other ruler on the other side. Let's see if I can get it on there. I'll come back to that side. It's leaking out a little here. I expected that. And let's put, let's clamp these together here. Maybe not clear down because I don't want my clamps to stick. Ah, let's put it right in here. All right. There we go. We're going to let that dry overnight. And I will look at it. I can pull some of these bobby pins out now. I can look at it tomorrow morning. These are just holding it steady while I was clamping. There we go. Let's wipe off my glue so it doesn't get all plugged up like that other one did. And let's put the cap on it. $4 for this. And there's glue in here, but it's all plugged up. I'll have to clean that out. And I got a bunch of bobby pins that I can embellish. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Now let's get this cleaned up. I think that's the only place I had glue was down there. So I'm pretty happy with that. That didn't take me too long. I had to figure out how to put the rulers on. I've never done that with the rulers before. <sighs> Let's put it this way. Maybe that'll make a good thumbnail. And let's see what you guys are seeing. Let's see what you're seeing. Oh, you're seeing it good. Okay. So this, well, I should be able to... And of course, yeah, I got this is the back and this is the front. And I got glue. Somehow I got glue on it. Let's put it this way. Let's put the front that way. A couple more bobby pins there. Okay. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's check it tomorrow. I'll be streaming tomorrow morning at 4.30 in the morning. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow morning. We'll check this out and see how my magazine of pictures that attracted me as I was doing my, deconstructing my magazines, we'll see how that works. And we'll see if I can tear them out. Bye for now.